lock the door. Okay, it's locked. Are you sure no one followed you home from the bank? Uh, yeah. I'm texting you something. <gasps> oh my god! Who is that? It's the bodyguard I hide in Oslo. They, they want to me, Eliza. I'm gonna get a plane ticket and come to you right away. No, 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 no need. Just, just meet me as we planned, all right? So you made it back? Yeah, but I, I need to go into hiding for a while. Just, just bring the money. All of it? I yes, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be gone, but Eliza, listen to me. We're still getting married, as promised. I know. I know, baby. I... Just stay safe. I'll meet you tonight. All right. See you tonight. And don't go get the money. I won't. I love you. Vivian, looking at bids for that beautiful tutor on Buffalo Point? No, but I got two offers this morning, so... I know what you are doing. You are on that app all the time. I am not. Oh, come on. Every time I pass by, I see you looking. I'm just checking for matches. You really think you can find love looking at dozens of men's pictures? Yeah, I guess I do. Okay, maybe it takes a little bit of effort, but there's a Mr. Wright out there, and I have to put myself where he can find me. Well, you've always been a romantic, but I thought after Frank, you were gonna... It's been four months, and I'm ready for a new start. Let me check that out. Ooh, looks like a real man. Mm -hmm. He's not one of those jocks or man boys. And look, it looks like he's close with his parents, which is always a good thing, right? He can grasp, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. It's too good to be true. Well, I, I guess we'll find out soon enough. He invited me out for drinks tonight. Tonight? That's fast. He's decisive. I like it. You know, maybe I should tag along inconspicuously. Make sure he doesn't jet off with you. Not before you sell the tutor. <laughs> you are very funny. Mm-hmm. What's a better time? No, oh, what Walker? Just Okay. Kate Burns, I presume. Yes. I am. I am so sorry. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my ex-girlfriend. She knows where I stay when I'm in town, and it's it's nothing. Maybe you two should talk. No, no, no. We um. We'd only be having the same conversation we've been having for months, and I'd much rather be speaking to you, but I, I totally understand if you want to leave. Well, uh, we all have exes. So you'll stay? I'll stay. All right, well, let's, let's have a drink. So, what can I get for you? No. Let me guess. You have intelligence. Uh, I'm a wine drinker. White wine. Dry. Touch of something floral or fruity. How do you do that? It's my job to read my clients' tastes. Who are your clients? Uh, I'm an odd dealer for some wealthy individuals, but I I do travel a lot, so I hope that's not a deal breaker. No, I, uh, I gathered that from your Instagram. What kind of art do you usually buy? Mostly European masters. But Kate Burns, I want to know all about you. How do you spend your days? Uh, 
selling houses. Mm -hmm. I'm a real estate agent. How did you get into that? Uh, well, I started my career in journalism. Okay, covering? Mostly local government, city council meetings, things like that. So, big fish. I, uh, I tag along with my best friend when she did open houses on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And eventually I discovered I liked what she did more than working at a newspaper. Well, I'm gonna take a guess you're very good at it. This seemed like a natural fit. Mm -hmm. So, Walker. Mm -hmm. I like that name. It's unique. It's a family name. So you're a junior? No, no, no. It's my mother's maiden name. She uh, didn't have any brothers on that side of the family to continue the name, so... Oh. What would your name be if you got your mother's maiden name? Johnson. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it would have been really bad. <laughs> yes, Mr. Stevenson. Uh, could we get your best bottle of champagne, please? Absolutely. That okay? Sure. Do you have... The dumper in your 2012. Of course. And two chilled fruits, please. Absolutely. Champagne? Mm hmm What are we celebrating? Natural fits. When people and names just click, it's, it's good to stop and celebrate. Copenhagen, really. I know. Uh, I know most people don't see it as one of the best European cities, but the type of art I specialize in. It's just as rich as Rome, Paris, Berlin. Now you go. Uh, Marseille. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's not as glamorous as some of the others. No, 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 absolutely. I, I love Marseille. It's harbors and markets are amazing. I just, I didn't expect that from you. It's actually the only time I've ever been abroad. Travel is the spice of life. No, well, I would love to travel. Believe me, it's just, um, I guess I've been working a lot lately. Well, I travel to Europe mostly to assess art for clients. Assess? Yeah, it's, it's my job to see if a painting's an original and if it's in good shape for my clients to make an offer. Do they ever come along? Ah, nah, way too busy. That's why they hire me. Have you, uh, have you ever been married? No. Ever gotten close? I thought so. What happened? He didn't. <laughs> His mistake. <laughs> have you? Her job makes it very difficult. I find that hard to believe. Most women like the fancy dinners and the exotic travel, but inevitably they grow tired of me being out of town all the time. That's exactly why I joined the app, because I figured, hey, if I'm honest right off the bat, then uh, maybe there'll be no trouble down the road. But that's what's most important to me, Kate, is honesty. Yeah, for me too. Well, if I'm being honest, I had a wonderful night. So did I. And if I'm being really honest, I want to kiss you. So it looks like Prince Charming was real. And a dream. Uh-oh. He was charming, but he was also super down to earth. He asked questions and really listened. And sent flowers the next day. Pretty perfect. Come on, Viv. Just let me enjoy this. OK, just please don't go too fast. Get to know him. Don't worry. I will. They're beautiful. And of course, you guessed my favorite flower. Well, m'lady, they to remind you of the beauty of last night. 
and to apologize. For what? Well, I wanted to ask you out again. Immediately, actually, but I just found out I got to leave town for business. For how long? Two weeks. Oh. Kate, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. That's what I was talking about. It's, uh, it's the nature of the job, and I know it's not easy for everyone. No, no, I, I completely understand. It, it's for work. You have to go. We can text when I'm gone, and I'll take you out as soon as I get back. Color. Well, I managed to get to the beach on the last day. <laughs> well, I uh, should be here for the rest of the week. Ah, lucky me. Maybe you could join me one day. Yeah, maybe. Too soon? No, that's not it. What then? Well, when you take off at a moment's notice, it's for work. If I were to try and get away like that, my job's different. I get it. Maybe one day. One day. <laughs> Come on, Gizmo. Do you like dogs? I love them. I wish I had one, but with the amount I work, it wouldn't be fair. Growing up, I had a doggy called Peppermint. What about you? Uh, ours was a Great Dane, uh -huh. Geronimo. Geronimo. I like that. Yeah, my, my dad was a big fan of the old Western movies. <laughs> Geronimo. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. I wish you were here. Are you going to dinner soon? The hosts are throwing a little party in my honor. It sounds like they're spoiling you. They are, which makes me think of spoiling you when I get back. Mm. I like the sound of that. Kate, I, I just wanted to say I've never felt so at ease with someone so quickly. I know, I can't believe it's only been a month. I really hope I'm not moving too fast by asking this, but... Would you be my girlfriend? I don't think that's moving too fast at all. I'd love to. I wish I was there with you right now. Trust me, me too. But I, uh, I better get cracking before I'm late to my own party, so... Of course. I'll talk to you soon. Whoa. Looks like a botanical garden in here. You know, there is such a thing as overkill. But Walker, he's very effusive. Mm. Yeah, I'll say. He likes buying me beautiful things. You guys have only been dating a month, and most of that time he's been out of town. Well, I mean, we text and FaceTime every day. We like each other a lot. And look. He's in Nice right now. That's the Mediterranean behind him. Yeah, it looks like the Pacific to me. Be careful. You hardly know this guy at all. He's a big-hearted romantic. Uh, he gets home tomorrow, so you'll meet him, and then you'll see. Sure, at the hotel? No, no, I'm setting my coordinates. Coordinates? Did you get it? Uh-huh. Walker, are you okay? Yeah, just come quickly. Sure, I'll I'll be right there. I can't wait to see. Oh, 
What's wrong? Unlock the door. Okay. Walker, is everything okay? No, no, just please drive. Let's go. good to see you. Walker, what's going on? I just wanted to make sure that your house and your car weren't bugged. Bugged? Why? Kate, you don't understand how far they reach is. That's, that's why I wanted you to pick me up. I had to lose them. What? Who? Look, I know this must be confusing and even a little scary, but I promised you I'd be honest with you. So let me explain fully. You know, there wasn't a single day that went by where I wasn't thinking about you. I never believed in fate or love at first sight or any of that kind of stuff, but with you it's different. I I feel like we're meant to be together. But before we go further, I um I have to tell you that my work can be dangerous. Dangerous how? See that painting over there? That's an original Bruegel. Um I'm sorry, I don't I don't know much about art. Peter Bruegel, the elder. He was a a Flemish painter of the 16th century, the most significant Dutch painter of the Renaissance. So, it's valuable. Mm hmm <laughs> 6.2 million dollars. The package against the wall is worth six million? <laughs> My client thinks it'll look great over here. I mean, there must be companies that specialize in that kind of thing. Of course, you're right, but my clients don't follow the usual paths. Their wealth allows them to do things their own way. I still don't understand how that's dangerous. My client doesn't want anyone to know he owns this painting. Why? He has his reasons. Only some of which I know, but the, the most important is I keep it safe. Well, wouldn't it be safest to get the painting to him? I mean, don't rich people have like crazy alarm systems? The thing is, some very bad people found out about the purchase, staked out his house. We're talking about dangerous men, the kind that won't be stopped by an alarm system. I'm even worried they're onto me. Walker, you have to call the police. Well, the police have no way of stopping these guys. It has to be handled off the grid. So what are you going to do? Well, I need to find a secure place to hide the painting. Make sure they don't find me. Just stay away until things blow over. It always does, eventually. So this has happened before? Well, I have my way of dealing with these things. Don't worry, they won't get the painting. It's not the painting I'm worried about. Um, I'm so sorry that I, I dumped all of this on you so suddenly. My job affords me a lavish life, but it, it comes with responsibility. Too much sometimes. Look, Walker, I, I want to help you in any way I can. <laughs> You're so kind, so, so beautiful. How'd I get so lucky? You're sweet. You know, you could keep the painting here. Yeah. Self, my place isn't being watched. It'll be safe. Okay. Okay, but only for a few days uh, before I figure something else out. Okay.
sorry. I thought you heard me. Um, I'm so sorry. I just, um... You wanted to see? I understand. See, the trouble is, the sun and air pollutants can cause irreparable damage. That's why it needs to stay covered until it's in a protective frame. But I have another way of showing you. So. And for his landscapes, he also does pictures and prints of peasants. Can you feel the, the life and the movement? I love all the little vignettes and characters. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it. So sorry. I should have just asked. You have every right to be curious. I just I hope with time you come to trust me more. I will. I do. Shall we go to bed? Yes. I'm starving. He said he'll be here in a few minutes. He's walking from the hotel. Tell me again why he lives at a hotel. He doesn't live there. Look, he's on the road so much it doesn't make sense to have something permanent. A hotel is much easier. Mm, seems a little odd to me to not have a home. We work in real estate, Viv. Of course it doesn't make sense to us. Good point. Look, Walker isn't like anyone I have ever met. Yeah, that's what's got my spidey sense tingling. But that's why I like him. He doesn't follow conventions. Do you give him a chance for me? Please. Okay. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I, uh, I thought it'd be faster to walk instead of waiting for a cab. Did you, did you wait long? I had just enough time to have a glass of wine and unwind. Yeah? Busy day? Uh, two house showings. Wow, you're a rock star, babe. Uh, oh, <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, Walker, this is Vivian. Vivian, I feel like I know you. I've heard so much about you. Likewise. Well, ladies, I insist we have the anti-pasta. It's, it's the best in the city. Absolutely right. Ah, oh, thank you. You know, art dealers tend to specialize in modern art because it tends to be more affordable and they're still producing, so they're steady supply. But not you, huh? I'm a bit of an outlier. I, I just, I don't get it. Like, what's people's obsession with paint splatters? <laughs> so you're not a Jackson Pollock fan? No. No, I, uh, I guess I have more traditional tastes. I, I appreciate natural beauty. The kind that steals your heart when you gaze at it. You know, I used to live in New York, down in Soho. I mean, I'm assuming you spent a lot of time in Soho because of all the galleries. My fair share, yeah. This lovely lady will tell you I travel the country, not to mention the world. Well, I used to live right above a pretty famous gallery, the Crabal. You've heard of it? Sure. They used to have a lot of events, um, post art openings. I never went to any, but... Yeah, well, you know, when you're in the business, those kinds of... No, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. You sure? Yeah. Just a check piece. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bigger. Oh, no, I really wanted to take you guys out. No, no, Vivian, please. I, it's the least I can do. It's my way of apologizing for being late. Well, I'll at least get the tip. No, no. Gift isn't really a gift if it's only partial. And it's really great to finally meet you because I intend to spend a lot of time with a special lady. Hi, um, sir, I'm so sorry, but your credit card was declined. Uh, do you have another that you'd like to use? Uh, no, no, you know what, I'll do, I'll do cash. And I'll tell you what, if I had a nickel for every time this happened, I mean, I get these credit card companies want to prevent fraud, but seriously, some of us travel. Get the change. 
Oh, thank you. Uh, you guys have a wonderful night. Ladies, shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I am so happy that you got to meet Vivian. I, I think she liked you. <laughs> Kate, there's no reason to lie. Look, I know how she can come off as abrasive. She's just protective. Well, I felt like she was tasting me. Well, if she was, you were hardly intimidated. Well, no, not with you by my side, I wasn't. Look, um... Vivi and I, we've, we've been through thick and thin. We'd do anything for each other. You're lucky to have that. Hmm? Where'd you go? <laughs> no way, I am. Um... Walker, I can tell there's something wrong. You remember when my credit... Yeah. Well, that wasn't because I was traveling. That was the criminals I told you about. I've been tracking my purchases, trying to figure out my whereabouts, and for security reasons, I had to stop my cards. I totally forgot when I handed it over. Well, do they know where you are now? No, not yet. Walker, you need to go to the police. <sighs> I've told you there's nothing they can do. It's just gonna backfire. Okay, then, then you hide out here with me and, until they give up. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could, but I, I have clients business to attend to. And if you travel, they'll find you. Well, I do have cash that I can use, but at some point that's gonna run out. And if I withdraw, then they'll track me. Okay. If I could just get access to a credit card for like a week or two. In the past, my business associates did that, but now they want to them too. I could give you my card. <laughs> Wait, you, you'd lend me one? Sure. I, um... What is this? Ten thousand dollars. Just to put your mind at ease. See it as a down payment. Why don't I use this instead of my card? Well, there's many things you can only do on credit. At the very least, just hold on to it for me. Okay. <laughs> Kate, you're the best. The kind of woman I could build a life with. I really think we make an amazing team, don't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> so do you think I could get that card from you now? Oh, uh, well, actually, I, I also need to use it, so... Well, maybe you could open a new account, and that way we just keep charges separate. Okay. Do you think you could take care of it first thing in the morning? It's, it's just that I need to keep my business running. I think a $30,000 limit should be, should be good. Oh, wow, um... Okay, sure. Okay, you're amazing. Now let's get some rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey! I thought I would hear from you last night after dinner. Uh, we were a little busy. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well... Ugh, I knew it. You don't like him. Well, he's certainly charming. Come on, Viv. It's never been like you to beat around the bush. I can tell how much you like him, Kate. But he's a liar. Huh? You know the gallery I said I live above in New York? The one that Walker said he knew well? Yeah? What about it? The Corbell Gallery doesn't exist. I made it up. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay. What does that prove? That he lies. He said he knew it. Come on, Viv. Maybe, maybe he got the name wrong. Or, God forbid, he was embarrassed that he didn't know the name of a famous art gallery and he just played it off. Are you listening to yourself? You're making excuses for him. <sighs> you Googled him, right? Of course. Okay, so then you saw all of these. Yeah, anybody can create a website. Okay, well, what about all of these articles? 
saying how well respected and successful he is in the art world. I mean, can anybody get these published? And what about his social media accounts? I mean, unless he's test driving expensive cars and great with Photoshop, he's got a lot of money. And he gave me 10 grand in cash. Oh God, he's a drug dealer. No, 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 it, it was for one of his clients. Hey, does he have you involved in something shady? No. To him, 10 grand isn't a big deal. I think you're so head over heels that you don't see the red flags. And I think that I have just a little more faith in people. You should try it. It's the only way to find love. Look, I get it. You don't trust Walker. But can you please just try to trust me? I just hope you know what you're doing. Do you still want to try that little Italian place? Uh, well, I, um... We have... Yeah, of course. It's, it's just... You know, actually, would you mind if, if I came over to your place and we, we just, we ordered in? No, of course not. Great, I'll, uh, I'll be there soon. Just don't scream when you see me. Wait, what? Why? Walker? Walker? Trust me, I've been much worse. Okay, um, let's get you something for the swelling. What happened? The guys jumped me as soon as I walked out of the hotel. What? Who did? I'm fine. I, I got away. I was hiding in the Starbucks when you called. I made sure they didn't follow me here. I mean, if they know where you've been staying, they must also know who you've been seeing. I was careful to, to come by foot. I I took detours. I I hid to make sure no one was following me. There's, there's no way they could trace me here. But how can you be sure? I mean, Walker, look at you. Dad, I'm never going to let anything happen to you. I promise. We need to go to the cops. Okay, cops just... I mean, they bring too many questions. And, and if my clients think that they can't rely on my discretion, no matter what happens, this is all over for me. This, this is crazy. I know. But once I realize they can't find the painting, it should all stop. But I might have to go away for a while. What, where? I don't know. Um, is it a headache? No. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me get something for it. Here, baby. Thank you. Ibuprofen is, is this all you have? Yeah. I'm allergic, but but no worries. I'll uh, I'll just go to the convenience store. It's like five minutes away. What? No, no. Um, I I will go. You stay here, and I'll be right back. Okay? Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Of course. Okay. That was
was quick. Yeah, I uh, forgot I had some aspirin in my glove compartment. So take three of those. That's what I do when I have a really bad headache. Could you give me some water? Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Of course. Maybe I should take you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Now I've had much worse. Besides, I'm a quick healer. You could have a concussion. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should go. You shouldn't have to plan this. Are you crazy? Where are you gonna go? I don't know, some hotel or something? No, you are going to stay here. Whether you like it or not, at least for tonight, okay? Okay, doctor. <clears throat> Walker. Hmm? I need to ask you something. Ask away. The Crabelle Gallery. Yeah, what about it? It doesn't exist. I know. You do? So why didn't you say anything? Well, I don't want to come across like I'm a jerk. I don't want to embarrass Vivian because you got the name wrong. Why? Is something wrong? No, no. No, nothing at all. <laughs> oh. Your card. I was only able to get a $15,000 credit limit on it, so I hope that's okay. Okay, this is... <laughs> Thank you. Of course. I'm, I'm happy to help. How about I go get us something to eat? That sounds great. <laughs> Sorted. Absolutely, yeah. Right. In about seven days. Okay. Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> okay, bye. Sorry, did I wake you? What's going on? Kate, listen to me. I have to leave the country immediately. What? Just a few days, a week at the most. Why? Who was that? That's a client of mine. I, I, things developed and I just I can't get into it right now. Okay. But I have a favor to ask you. A really big favor, but I'm, I'm gonna make it up to you, I swear. I have 20,000 in cash back at the hotel, but I can't get to it. Oh, well. So when your banker opens, how, how much could you take out? Well, I only have a couple thousand in my checking. Mm -hmm. What about savings, uh, retirement funds, any other kind of? I can, but. I'll pay you back, Kate. I, uh... The moment I get back, I, I promise, I'll, I'll pay you back with interest. No, you, you don't need to do that. No, I want to. I want to take care of you always. Okay, but what do I do if... If what? If something happens to you. <laughs> well, I, I thought about that. <laughs> That's why I had this drawn up. Oh my God, is this your will? Benny, but I mean it when I say I want to take care of you. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So we'll go to the bank this morning? Yeah. Great. Okay? Yeah, fine. Why? 
Because it's just not like you to come in so late and not at least text me. I had an errand to run first thing. You look pretty tired. Thanks, Viv. Hey, honesty is the best policy. So you gonna tell me what's going on? I just didn't sleep much last night. Trouble with Walker? No, we're we're fine, actually. Best we've ever been. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you get some sleep tonight. Eliza? Eliza Porter? I'm Kate Burns. We've never officially met, but um, we have a mutual friend. Walker Stevenson. How did you find me? Uh, you were drinking one of those cappuccinos in one of your posts. I gotta give you credit. I mean, most girls on a first date, if they see the guy talking to his ex, they would run for the hills. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I don't scare that easily. Can I ask what you guys were talking about? If you don't mind me asking. Well, um... It's a bit embarrassing. I was begging to take me back. Yeah, I had broken things off. But then regretted it, so I showed up and asked him to give us another chance. Can I ask why you broke things off? Well, you know how Walker lives. I never saw him for more than a couple days at a time, and he was always heading off somewhere. Yeah. Is that why you... I guess I just wondered if... If he's a real deal. Yeah. He seems too good to be true. <laughs> So, did he ever take you with him on his trips? Oh, uh, he offered, but I have a job that requires me to show up in the office every day, so I just couldn't swing in. So, you do believe that he's an art consultant then? Oh, I, I saw some pretty amazing paintings, the kind that you see in museums. And I got to meet some of his clients. Look, Walker's a catch. He's smart, he's sexy, he's successful. I mean, the entire time that we were together, he treated me like a queen. I hear a butt coming. But with him, you need to be able to go with the flow. And I just, I didn't want to anymore. And I thought that I was making the right decision by breaking things off, but I realized that there aren't any other Walker Stevensons out there. He's one of a kind. You should count yourself lucky. Okay. Catherine Burns? 
Yes. My name is Carmen Logan. I'm with the Los Angeles Police Department. You're a police officer. Yes, ma'am. May I come in? Um, I'd like to see some identification first, please. What is this about? I got a call from Pacific Mutual. From who? You'll just give me a few minutes. Please, have a seat. Can I get you anything to drink? No, I'm fine. OK. So you said Pacific Mutual, the bank? Yes. I'm not a client. No, but your credit card company is. I'm part of the LAPD division that investigates fraud. Fraud? Miss Burns, you took out a new card recently. Have you checked the card's balance? I haven't gotten a statement yet. You don't monitor it online? No. OK. Well, would you mind signing into the account? Just so we can take a look. OK. Really? Looks like pretty unusual spending for someone who rarely exceeds a $400 balance on her other card. Well, um, some things came up this month. Friend's birthday. Mm. Is someone else using your card, Miss Burns? No. Why? One of the vendors noticed that the person trying to use your card was a man. He said he was your fiance. I checked the store security camera. Do you know this man? Is he your fiance? You didn't know about this, did you? Well, I, I knew he had the card. I ordered it for him, and he's going to pay me back right away with cash, so I don't really see why this is a problem. By making all these charges, he exceeded your credit limit big time. You know that increases your interest rate, don't you? OK, but I'm pretty sure that's not a crime. What's your boyfriend's name? Walker Stevenson. That may be the name he's going by now, but his real name is Stephen Kamal. He's been doing this for a while. Just had trouble getting ahead of him. Doing what, exactly? Conning women out of their life savings, racking up debt, and then disappearing? I... I don't believe it. You're telling me you've had no doubts about him. This is just an ordinary relationship. Well, no, but I, I did my research, checked him out, Plus, he gave me, he gave me 10 grand in cash and more importantly, left an expensive painting with me. Okay, can I see it? Sure. It's a multi-million dollar. I feel it's safe to give it to the owner. May I? Yeah, just um, please be careful. It's a poster. He no doubt bought it for 40 bucks at a museum gift shop. The frame, he probably picked up at a yard sale. What do I do? When did he say he'd return? He didn't know, uh, a few days, maybe a week. OK. I need you to pretend like everything is fine. He can't know that you're on to him. And then as soon as you hear from him, let me know. And if I don't let you know? You think that's a good idea? It's possible he'll pay me back. I mean, maybe he just needs help. There's got to be a reason he lied. I'm afraid to ask how much cash you've already given him, because some of that will go towards conning another woman. That's how he works. If you help me, we can stop Mr. Kamal from fleecing another woman. How many are there? That we know of? Do you really want to know? Hey. 
okay? Kate, I was I'm so worried about you. I, I've been calling, I've been texting, but you didn't answer. I'm sorry, I, um, I wasn't feeling well. I just woke up from a nap. I'm sorry, I, I hope I didn't wake you. No, I just got out of the shower, so. Yeah? I wish I was there to peel the towel off of you. Make you feel better. Walker, um, I got an email from my credit card company today. Uh-huh. You exceeded my credit limit, and now my interest rate is going up. Wait, is this why you've been ignoring me? Okay, you don't need to worry. I said I'd pay you back long before your charges on you. Yeah, I guess it's just, um, all the credit debt has me a little nervous. Is there any way you could pay me back this week? Well, of course. I, I totally understand, and... I'll be back very soon, but until then, can you just trust me a little longer? Okay. I'll see you very soon. And Kate, I love you. Good night, Walker. to move all my money out of my savings account? Yes. As happens in these cases, debt is breached and the criminal signs into the person's account and then attempts to transfer a large sum. So someone hacked into your database and got my username and password? Well, no. Not in this case. Okay. What happened? Well, thankfully, you set up a two-factor authentication to approve large transfers. We sent a text to your phone, but you never responded, so the transfer couldn't be completed. Yeah, I've been a little busy. And I actually never fully read it. I thought it was spam. When the transfer attempt happened again, our system knew you'd been hacked. That's why I called. Well, thank you. I'm glad you did. We usually don't ask people to come into the bank when they've been hacked. OK. Whoever got into your account must have had quite a bit of information on you. Unfortunately, a lot of people's information is fairly easy to get. Name, address, social, driver's license. But the security questions are a lot harder. What? So your account is guarded by a series of personal questions. Prompts that you set up when you first open the account. You know, uh, mother's maiden name, first pet, those kinds of things. This person got all those questions right. What would your name be if you got your mother's maiden name? Johnson. Ours was a great name, Geronimo. I don't know. I like that. Ms. Burns. Ms. Burns. Are you okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll conduct our own investigation. But whoever did this obviously knows you and knows you well. I feel so incredibly stupid. A lot of women, smart, professional women, have fallen for his scheme. You're not alone. Still. This wasn't a Nigerian scam, Miss Burns. Stephen Kamel is incredibly sophisticated. What do I do now? How do I get my money back? Well, once he's caught, you can file a civil suit to get back your cash. But the credit card, because you gave him the card to use, those charges are probably a loss. <sighs> okay. I want my money back, of course. But more importantly, I want him caught. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. Many of Mr. Kamel's victims didn't want to help us track him down. Why? Well, I can't be sure. But maybe they felt the same way you do. Embarrassed that they got taken advantage of. But also, I believe his ability to charm or intimidate shouldn't be underestimated. Look, uh, right now, I am well past embarrassment. I'm angry. And I am not going to let him scare me. Just tell me what I need to do. OK. Maybe when he calls, I'll tell him that I want to make him dinner. And then you come in and arrest him. Well, he has highly attuned skills at reading people. And because he couldn't transfer your money, he knows the bank is on alert. He probably already suspects something's up. That's what's made him so hard to catch. But there's got to be some way to get him, though. 
Men like him have a lot of pride. He might lose his cool or mess up. Um, I need to check your audio a second. Could, could you say something, please? Uh, say something? Okay, sounds good. You ever done a podcast before? <laughs> no. Um, I mean, I've been interviewed for articles, but never in front of a camera. Just act like you're having coffee with a friend. Very relaxed and natural. I'll ask questions, and all I have to do is respond. I'm still shocked you respond to my email, and so quickly, thank you. My team and I are suckers for a good story. <laughs> well, I blasted it all over my social media, so everyone I know should be watching. Okay. Are you guys ready to start recording? Uh, yeah. Um, you can put this on. Thank you. Hey, just relax, okay? Just be yourself and share what he's done to you. Now let's nail that son of a bitch. Recording in three, two. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 312 of You Wouldn't Believe, a podcast about the crazy things that happen around us. I'm your host, Sarah Masters, and today's story is a story that is every woman's nightmare. You go on a dating app, you meet a cute guy. He seems like Mr. Right, but he ends up being Mr. Wrong. Kate Burns is with me today to talk about a hellish experience that she's just been through. Welcome, Kate. Thank you for having me, Sarah. So, you met a guy in a dating app. Then what happened? Uh, yeah, I met a handsome, charming man who took me to... Oh, he was doing all of that to scam me out of my savings. Well, candlelight and roses are every woman's Achilles heel. Yeah, I mean, that's the worst part of all of it. This guy, he's fooled many other women. But of course you didn't know that. No, not until recently. So tell us about what happened. Uh, well, he told me that his name was Walker Stevenson. Since then, I've learned that he's actually Stephen Connell. He claims to be a wealthy art dealer and he plays the part by wearing designer clothes, going to fancy restaurants, traveling all over Europe. What? Actually, I don't know if he travels at all. But I do know that he is not a millionaire. He's nothing more than a con man who preys on women. He made it seem like he was being pursued by criminals who wanted this art that he had bought for one of his clients. And he told me that to throw them off his trail, he needed to use my credit card and borrow my money. Oh, that's rough. I mean, most of us feel embarrassed when we feel like we've been had. It is so brave of you to come forward and share this. Yeah, it's been hard to admit to myself and others, but I don't want to allow him to do this to any other women. If you see this man, call the police immediately. Stephen Carmel must be stopped. episode has dropped and I want to see if anybody saw it and reached out. Yeah, a lot of text messages from friends, family, my mom called, of course. So did Walker. So he saw it. He left eight messages. Well, play him. I want to hear what he has to say for himself. I don't, I don't know if I can. Remember, you did the right thing. You know, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never. I know. You're right. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Hi, Kate. It's me. I, uh, I, I just got back into town and heard something very disturbing. Please, um, please call me right away. Kate, it's, it's me again. What is this crap? Hey, how could you do this to me after everything we've shared? There's so much you don't understand, so much that I want to tell you. Kate, listen to me. I love you. Oh, he's insane. Okay, you little bitch. If this is how you want to play it, you have no idea who you're messing with you. All right, you have no idea what I can do to you. You ruined my life, and I'm making you a promise today. I am going to ruin yours. Enough. There's nothing else you need to hear. Maybe I should stay over tonight. 
things. You doing okay? Yeah. I'm fine, just tired. You know, I think I'm gonna hit the sack. Good night. All right, I'm coming. Hey, I saw the podcast. He, he did the same thing to me. So, when did you find out about the real Walker? I opened up a credit card for him, just like you did. And he maxed the check bounced. I'm embarrassed to say it. What? Even after the check bounced, I still believed him. And he gave me so many excuses. But I, I don't know, I guess I just, I wanted to believe. I, I understand. Look, Eliza, you should have told me when I asked you about him. I know. I know. I, I just, I couldn't. But you have to share your story. I mean, not just with me, but with, with the public so that more women don't get hurt. Oh, no, no. That's why I came here. I, I came here to warn you, to let you know that, that you can't do that anymore. You just don't understand. Understand what? What the criminals might do to you. What criminals? Much of what Walker says is a lie, but he does deal with some dangerous people. I know that for certain. And if you keep talking about him in public, they might hurt you to get to him. But why would anyone want to hurt me to get to him? I just outed him publicly as a liar. I've seen these people do terrible things when they don't get what they want. And I felt guilty that I didn't warn you before. So I was hoping that I could now, before it's too late. Look, Eliza, I appreciate you coming to warn me, but I am not afraid. Now that the story's out, I'm pretty sure no one will mess with me. That's where you're wrong. These guys are vindictive. And if somebody gets in there... Eliza, how did you get my address? You can find anybody's address with an internet search. No, uh, not mine. As a realtor, I have to be extra safe. The deed for this house isn't under my name. It's under an LLC. It's not listed anywhere. I swear I found you on an internet search. Okay, here, I'll show you. <gasps> you should have just listened to me. All he wants is to be left alone. Eliza, please, you do not want to do this, especially not for him. Oh, he loves me. No, he doesn't. He is using you. He uses everybody. You have to see that. No, I'm special, okay? He told me so. Eliza, please think about what you're doing. We can go to the police. He won't hurt you. Hurt me. He loves me. <laughs>
was checking on you. I thought you might still be sleeping. Well, no, I, I had company. So no more letting unknowns into your house. But I did know her. Well, unknowns are those with an unknown affiliation. Something tells me he's not gonna let up right away. He probably has a few more women who would do his bidding. You should come stay at my place for a while. That's a nice offer, but I don't want to run away. I don't want to let him win in this intimidation game. And if I disappear, your house is the first place he'd look. Look, I made sure all the doors and windows are locked. We'll put a car out front to watch the house at night until we catch him or the threats stop. I hope they do soon. I've got tonight's shift. It's all gonna be okay. sugar, no cream. I hope that's okay. Just what I needed. So, uh, you really gonna stay out here all night? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, you know, like I said, you can come and sleep on the couch if you want. No, cops don't sleep in civilians' houses when they're on the clock. Anyway, I need a view of the entire house. Okay. And getting out of the office is a good change of pace for me. In the last few years, I've spent most of my days pouring over credit card receipts and other financial... Okay, well, um, if, uh, if you need anything, just ring the doorbell. I, uh, I probably won't be sleeping much tonight anyway. You should try. It's the best thing for you right now. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm here. Promise. feeling where am i somewhere no one can find you that's why you don't have a gag drink must be thirsty and i'll finish the chloroform i just this time come now okay don't be so stubborn you're proving nothing by refusing you could have poisoned it if i wanted to kill you you'd be dead already ah, that's my goal Everything you've done, you want nice? 
I always liked your spunk, eh? I really did. Probably your most admirable characteristic, that and that you were smarter than all the other girls. But I guess I paid for that, don't I? What do you want, Walker? What do I want? What do I want? You ruined my life, Kate. Now I can't go back to what I was doing. Because of you. Guess you're gonna have to start working, Walker. I don't have face detection activated. Unlock it. Why should I? Because if you don't... You know, it's one thing to commit financial crimes. Another to commit murder. When they catch you, you will go to jail for the rest of your life. Well, that's the point, Kate. You're assuming I'll be caught. You're right. They probably won't. They're always one step ahead. I mean, you kidnapped me with my phone to get a wire transfer approved, right? Wish I thought of that. Totally honest with you, you broke my heart. Why would I give you my savings so you can spend it on other women? I need to be so maudlin, Kate. I'm sorry about the podcast. I was hurt and angry that I was just one of your many girlfriends. Not take it personally. I mean, I, uh, I enjoyed the time we spent together. Yeah. I mean, we had some spectacular nights, didn't we? If you had just confided in me, but instead you send Eliza to my house, you can't love her. Who said anything about love? She doesn't have half the class or the finesse that you do. I would have been a better partner. You're trying to manipulate me. I'm trying to show you that I want in. We could disappear to another country. Too risky. We would change our looks. I've always wanted to be blonde, and you would look great in a beard. We could use my real estate knowledge. Break into vacation homes when the owners aren't there. Show them like they're listed on the market. I mean, Walker, we could make so much more than the tens of thousands you make with women's savings and, and credit cards. Please untie me so we can talk like normal people. Plus, I'm, I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? I'll get you some more water. Might have something in the cabinet. <gasps> yeah, I got a... Baked beans, this should work. Yeah, I, I haven't had breakfast, so anything's great. Please. I'm fine. Uh, my key's in the pocket. Oh. Where's Kate? I don't know. I let myself in the house. She's not in there. But her car's in the driveway. Have you tried calling her? Oh. Rick 
Your fist is served. They're looking for you now. It's time to approve the transfer. What else? I'd rather not. Sure. Okay. She was strong and held her own. I can't say the same for myself. I should probably go back to desk work. No. It is not your fault. He surprised us both and we didn't stand a chance. Then you came to rescue me just in time. Any signs of him? Well, the FBI has been notified. Look, there are plenty of people looking for him. He can't run forever. You did it, Kate. You got him. Walker Stevenson will be caught, or he's gonna have to hide out from now on. But he's not gonna hurt any more women, thanks to you. You speak English? Yes, much better than my French, I'm afraid. Well, you're right. These paintings, they're all beautiful. You know, the artist created this whole series before he died. Roger Kane, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. So you know a lot about art? Yeah. Yeah, I know a little. 